Okay. Before we convene, I would note I have two items. Uh, one, a point of parliamentary privilege. In the Cape Breton Post of December 11th, there was a letter to the editor entitled Defying Logic and Council's Mandate. One of the signatories uh, to that was Councillor McDougall. But when a matter is before Council, and words such as defies all logic, runs directly in the face of Council's documented platform. It seems incredible that Council community. would question the business case behind such an investment. It is tantamount to recklessness and a total disregard of the community's well-being. Questioning the legitimacy of the review processes of other levels of government. And logically, there is no valid reason for Council to oppose this investment. For a Council member to question the motive or the integrity or the intent of their fellow colleagues, it is in contravention of the code of conduct that we've all signed when we were sworn in to represent uh, to each, to treat each other equally and with respect. And it wasn't fair to other colleagues to do that. And I would note that for future reference for all other colleagues going forward. Councillor McMullen. As far as I know, we were still allowed to have our opinion. So I don't exactly understand how this is offensive, but other things are okay. This is about someone putting their opinion to something that is before council and stating opinion of their thought of council if they don't vote a certain way in a written statement in public. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Amanda, I, I don't fully agree. I think it was your opinion and your opinion in a group of women, and it's unfortunate that you're being pointed out in a port of order. It is nothing she wouldn't have said sitting here in front of every one of us. Councillor McDougall. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm going to save it because I know I got more coming at me after this. It's interesting. Um, I really felt the slew of emails that came at me after making that comment. Um, it really kind of defied what we have as a right in the MGA, which is permitting and airing the reconciliation of divergent views. It is part of our job to question one another. We're not here to pat each other on the back and get along all Nothing the time. Nothing in that letter was any different, safe a few words, uh, than what I said here tonight. <laughs> that group of women that I'm with, it like, it just felt like you were, it just felt like that letter was being pointed out and opinions have been shot off in many different forms with many different counselors in the I'm past. I'm not apologizing for the letter. I, I don't think there's any need to. This is a very, very, very respectful, brilliant, dedicated and passionate group of women that feed a lot of information into really a lot of the decisions I make because they are so representative of our communities. Well, I would just note we took an oath of office and we signed a code of conduct. I didn't break the code of conduct. I've already read it. Hmm? I know I didn't break the code of conduct. I do my work every single day under that code of conduct, oh. Mayor. Agree to disagree. Councillor Coombs. I disagree with this even being brought up. I thought it was inappropriate when I saw an email, and I consider it still inappropriate in my opinion that it be brought up today. A lot of times, there's many, many councillors across Nova Scotia have done this. They have written letters. That is our job. Our job is to go out and express Opinions. Councilor McDougall, I, you shouldn't apologize. If you don't feel like you did anything wrong and people are telling you you didn't do anything wrong, you shouldn't apologize. I would say in my own uh, parliament, if I ever said to you that you were being reckless, this whole list is disrespectful. It's about respect of your colleagues. And the difference, again, is when there's business and proceedings on the floor of the council and you're trying to influence that outcome from outside of the chamber rather than on the floor. That's the difference, and it is a point of parliamentary privilege, and it's one that everyone has the right for that common respect.